So I want to start out this video giving a shout out to Luf & Co who were a major part in the extraction improvements as a part of this update. However, Proxy of course playing his typical supervisory role as requested also played a major role in ensuring that everything went smoothly for this release. Um, AR, even though he uh, kind of has been away a minute, was still able to manage to inject himself in at the very last moment of the release to even fit himself into this micro update and that is because he is the true master of box cutter. Uh, even now I'm meeting with him in the background but I wanted to go ahead and just record this quick video just giving him a shout out as the intro of this video while everything's fresh in my mind. The goal with this particular release of box cutter was stability. Instead of adding a lot of fancy new things we wanted to ensure that the fancy things that we added previously were working and had been improved upon. So I just hope that everyone is able to enjoy this next release of Box Cutter and find that the things that they may have been complaining about previously have been resolved. We fix everything from the ability to work in destructive mode to and its improvements to uh, the way extraction works in its entirety. Rotation and things like that is something that we want to address in the future and have a more dedicated system towards. But now all the pieces are finally in place for us to begin thinking about widgets. But of course, in, in these times, it is important to say that, you know, I hope that everyone is safe out there, even our opponents in this whole bullion war. Uh, whenever Italy was shut down, my first thought was, I hope that that nation survives. I don't want anything to happen to um, any of our contemporaries in the Blender scene. Blender is a important program with with everyone participating in it. So in the in these times, you know, I hope that everyone's able to stay safe. In fact, our meeting right now is kind of a uh, like a head check, just making sure that you know everybody's um, you know virus free. You know we're. We're going to survive this pandemic. It's just more pain that we have to blend away. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. So here I am in 2.82, trying out box cutter 71V underscore one. And we're just going to just quickly add a bevel to this cube. And when we change to destructive mode and we draw a make box and click to apply, notice that the bevel gets removed from the main object. And the make a box doesn't actually do anything except make a box. So it's strange for it to actually apply modifiers on this shape like it does. Another situation is that if you were to say draw a box and we'll press Z, turn it into an inset and just add more thickness to it. And we click to apply, we see that it applied everything. And that's such odd behavior and was not what we were going for. So if we minimize this, uh, we're now in 2.83 where I have the latest box cutter installed, box cutter 71V underscore five. We'll go ahead and do the same thing where we put a bevel on here. We're looking at our mod. We'll change this over to destructive mode and we draw a make box. And if we just draw a box, you can see that now the modifier no longer gets applied. And in fact, we'll make the bevel a little bit smaller. We'll draw a box, bring it down, press Z to make an inset. And if we click, you can see that the bevel remains live, but the inset gets applied. And this was actually the intended behavior, and I apologize for this oversight. But just know that the goal of this release has been to try to bring some stability back to Box Cutter and to make things make more sense. Right there, I brought about recut, which might have helped me in this situation. However, it looks like lowering the thickness is my only hope for this. So something like that. And now we're still able to get in and adjust it. So inset can be a little unwieldy at times, but that is the danger whenever you're using a solidify modifier in reference of using a target sliced as a cutter. So just inset can just be a little bit dangerous, but just know that improvements have been made for destructive mode to make it where it no longer applies modifiers. It's no longer supposed to. So right mouse click to cancel Ngon has also received some improvements. This is something that I don't use myself personally, but in this case, we'll go ahead and enable it. And we'll press D to bring up the Pi and switch over to Ngon. And if we just draw an Ngon, you can press backspace to backspace your points in order to go to a previous point in order to redraw, of course, as of the last update. 
However, also you are able to right click to just cancel. So if you're drawing an ingon and you don't want to backspace and you just make a mistake and you want to cancel, just know that you can right, right click and just cancel ingon. When it comes to custom cutter, this one will take a moment to set up, but we'll start off by just making a box. We'll shift it to live, go in edit mode, and just grab this face and make an extrusion, and that's a box. And we'll draw another box, and we'll just go here, grab a face, add a loop cut here, grab these faces, make another extrusion, and that's a box. We'll draw this box, but we'll alt scroll to uh, recall that box, but I didn't shift to live, so we'll need to mod scroll backwards in order to grab that box, and we'll just extrude this forward. All these boxes are just called cutter, which means that if we were to attempt to scroll through these cutters, normally we would not scroll through these cutters because they all share the same name and number. Now there's an option under behavior for Let's see, where is it? I believe it's under shape actually for cycle all cutters. And by having this on, you will now be able to cycle all the cutters instead of just having us filter it. I do want to go in and add advanced filtering options in the future in order to make this smarter. But if we turn this off and we just draw a box, we'll just scroll through and you can see that I'm only able to scroll through just a certain amount of the cutters, which has always probably seemed like a strange inconsistency with users, but actually has been by design, but it wasn't by adequate design. We didn't adequately put this fork together properly. So now this has been improved. So now at least if you're, all your cutters are just named cutter, you can still just scroll through them and find absolutely the cutter that you want in the cutters collection that you're scrolling through whenever you're recalling cutters. As cutters and their collections improve, we do want to add the ability to make it where you can select what collection that you're recalling from so that way you can have a collection of very specific cutters and you're just drawing boxes and recalling them in order to position them exactly where you need them in this particular shape. But now you can see that I'm able to just scroll through and just hold alt in order to scroll and find the right cutter. I can press C to cycle the cutter since I'm in box mode and you can see that I'm scrolling through every cutter that is present in the cutters collection. When people send me GIFs of box cutter working improperly, it makes me truly sad. Sometimes people will be like, hey, what's going on with this tool? And it'll be because they had an object out in space and they were just doing something weird. Except it wasn't something weird, it was something that I did in a video, except I was in the center point of the scene. And one of those that happened to me recently was with Extract. So it did bother me that the user in question wasn't able to perform his extraction in space which reminded me that that's always been a shortcoming of Extract. So now I'm happy to announce that Extract has been improved and is now capable of performing the way that you would expect Extract to behave. And now you're able to extract any surface of any sort of geo. So we could even get in here and do something like say, model a circle using circle tool inside of HardOps. And we'll just rotate that sideways bring it in here, extrude it in. We'll grab this loop, bevel it, and then we'll grab this line and bevel this as well. Control B, bevel that. And so this is kind of the shape that we have going on here. Of course, I'll use mod scroll to bring this shape back and we'll just move that over. And this is our shape. Of course, the shading just isn't perfect. So that's something that bothers me. Sometimes I press hotkeys too fast and accidentally turn off my overlays. But there we go, now it's looking good. And as you saw, I just modeled that in there. We can now draw an extraction and that is our extraction. And so you can now replicate this shape everywhere where you need it. In fact, if we alt click sharpen, there we go. And we're just repeating this shape wherever we need it. And that is extraction and the new extraction in a nutshell.